It's all on Cold here, one on two. They need this to close out the map and Cold Spray not quite connecting yet. There's so much time on that bomb still left and G2, they're just gonna move up together here, trying to see if they can get a little bit of teamwork in. Cold getting close, there's the one shot, he sprays, oh, oh he's no! out! Comes out with the pistol instead! He's got no HP and body moving close to Cold! He can't, oh, that's the shot! Cold Zero for the quad kill! Luminosity are gonna make it to 14 rounds! and it's just Luminosity systematically shutting him down. It was like trading places, right? All of a sudden, they're the terrorists trying to run up Cat. You got the CT guy. It's on Shox in a one on three to try and keep it alive. Otherwise, we'll go to a fifth map in the grad files. Shox tabs out one, and that's a deadly kill. Goes for the second, and he's moving closer, looking for the quad clutch here. FNX, the last man alive. He's going to tap the bomb once. Shox, oh, you've got to be kidding. He takes the quad kill. And that is, is it going to keep the dream alive? I think you'll have just enough time for the defuse here. It's all down to rush. He's got four to kill. They line up. He gets two. Time to reload as well. 1v2 now. Rush has to play this absolutely perfectly. Bomb is planted in his favor. Taking the fight towards FNX. He gets that. Now it's 1v1 against Fallen. Fallen with the scout just flies in. He knows time is against him. He doesn't have a kid. Ah, the rush going above and beyond for Optic. That was almost impossible. Down to Markov versus three. Not going to be easy here. He needs to get himself some one versus one. Doesn't get traded because he's got the APC there. He's got two down now, but he's only got four bullets left in the chamber. Is he going to go for it? He doesn't have time to reload. Really, doesn't get the pistol out. Gets the headshot, but is he going to get close to the bomb in time? Really hard. I hope he's been practicing on the retake service. Pop flashing in. First frag going the way of Chris J. Oh, how does he get that one, Chris J? All three kills. What a clutch coming in. That's what we're talking about there from Mouse Sports. Chris J. Finishes him off, just going to be sick remaining now. He has got a smoke and an AK in hand. Still an opportunity to do something with it. He can get a bomb down and be fantastic. That's his first kill, which he does. Takes out Carrigan. But there aren't any CTs. You know exactly where he is. A lot of work to do, but that's a great start. One on one now against Apex. Well, I'm just going to go down. This is actually well pulled back by Sick. They've got the great chance here. AK's got the advantage well in terms of firepower and that there's no kit. So this is actually TSM's to steal. And Sick is going to do exactly that. Takes down Zipix. This is in that smoke area and he's got a massive mission here. Not actually try and make anything happen. But this first kill, surely. He's going to be smart about wow. it too. This is perfect. Show me where your friend is. Well, he will. Sorry, Henry. He doesn't care what you think. He cares about getting money and getting around. He's going to go inside of the smoke as well and try and injure this out. But the smoke's already dissolving. Great shot. Balda pulls it back and frees. He might have been a little bit too conservative. A brilliant play. Picked up the rifles. It's all on the Pasha. Bomb just getting in a position now where it's going do to go this. down. He could stop him. Does he do it? No, he doesn't. Bomb goes down. So he still has to clutch this out against two. He's got one left to go. Guardian sets low HP 19. And Pasha's going to push on to him. Does hit it. So three kills only in the first half, and Pasha pulls off a massive clutch to keep them in this. All of the cucumber. Potentially on time, not quite, Zeus. Smoke down is going to try and just get money for Navi at this point. Remember, they've yet to win a round in this half. So it was 12-3, it's going to go to 12-9, or is it? Zeus is putting up a fight. 10 HP, two to find. Late rotation from Pasha. So Taz is going to get up to the control room. Zeus has yet to spot him here. This could be good, you know. It's actually going towards the connector, and he's going to get the kill on Pasha as well. He actually knows where Taz is. He heard that ladder. He's got vision of the bomb and a flashbang to work with as well. Problem is, he's got the AWP. Taz now up against him. Taz is going to try and hunt this out as well. He's bought so much time, and Zeus is playing uh -oh. this so smart. He's got to go back onto it. Zeus goes out. Taz off again, but he's baited it out. The time works, and Zeus clutches it. One versus three. We've been able to get four players here almost every round, but yet finding it quite hard to contest this, but Forrest takes a bit of a haphazard fight, and now Gerard's left all out in the open, tagged up, but still finds fur. And Cold Zero's side, and this has to be a full plant. Gerard's gonna take the chance, takes the opportunity, and constantly watching out for that flank here now. And Fidex, he's gonna strike soon. He's out, 12 HP left on Exist now, but the triple shot shuts it down. Over through Cat, he's smoking off. He's in the corner, though. He's gotta line up these headshots. Oh, There's one! Oh, Him and exist. Where is exist? He's still behind them. Also, Pit's gonna try and bait them away. 
be the hot cloth on the fevered head like a needle they'll lead them and they'll follow like thread but where it could exist come back in from behind he's gonna try and isolate this into a one-on-one -on -one right now and it is not gonna work out in his favor no i take it back he does get to pray but in the meantime he did lose his teammate now it's just him that's alive he's gonna stay on top of the train out love him come up the ladder and it's gonna be just the 12 hp to work with he has got the butterfly knife but he has to fly like a sting butterfly and sting like a bee he's got the first one already on the kerrigan has to fall away further still in the e-box it's low on device he's got this down one-on-one -on -one. he actually works it out the clutch from exist i love it don't know who I'm impressed with more exists than that massive clutch of the knife round. Are you actually carrying it for that amount of time? <laughs> Playing it smart in the film round. Boom. And execute in effect. Gonna get the bomb as well. 35 seconds. The problem now is he has absolutely no idea where MBK could be. And he's watching from the back, but MBK misses his chance. He has cordoned off the area though. He now knows that Kiyoshima has to charge through onto the B side with 25 seconds. He's gonna smoke this one up. MBK decides not to shoot. Gonna wait. Waits a little bit too long though. Now Kiyoshima will get the plant. Comes down potentially to the next shot. Kiyoshima lands it in the head. It's all over for Envious in this round. He's gone into check and lands the shot. The clutch is real. Kiyoshima, 1v2s his previous team. His teammate was picked off. Now on Kiyoshima, he just charges through with the Tech 9s. This could be a bomb plant. He actually decides to hold his ground for now. Realizing that Molotov was imminent, decides to move himself back. Lands the headshot. Surely not again, Envious. Surely not again, Kiyoshima! With a second huge clutch. Keeping phase in this game. Coming through late, but they have traded both those back. It's still a man down, and Henny's got that AK. You mentioned it, the problem's on the anti eco score is thrown AWP. He has to use a tech nine, great shot, snaps to the round. Oh, Here we go. Four is finally getting some accuracy. Three kills in the round, and he's got 10 seconds. And he's got the bomb, and he's got to book it. He's got to plant this immediately inside the radius when he arrives, and he's all just got there. Thought he stumbled on it with that first step, but thankfully the bomb goes down. It was all he could manage out of this. Henny's gonna rotate over, and it's AK-47 versus AWP at Forest. He's looking at Highway, but as time goes on, it's process of elimination. He's figured out the angle, and it's gonna be Sean. Can't land it on the first shot, and he's gonna fall back, use that Tech-9, let him get a little bit closer, and play the time. Smoke immediately on it. Henny does not have a kit, so it's a 10-second defuse, and Forrest catches him out. The absolute master of the clutch situations. Time and time again on this tournament, he's shown why he is one of the greatest of all time. Right, clutch master, one versus two. And money on the line. It's going to be the point, the game for NIP, or potential overtime. If not, and Disco staring it down. He can't spot him on the jump. He did. Just enough. Great play from Get Right. Oh, second information gathered. And Get Right. He sprays it down. Where's the wave? The wave. <laughs> he's got a press E. He's got a whole D. Get... An automatic taking down Olaf Meister. Now it's on Crims. Playing the statue, only a Tech-9. Surely he can't pull this one off. He hasn't got the weapon to do it. There's two players just rushing him down. Where's the headshot save for Crims? He gets around the statue and the reload in. Seven health for him. Oh, what, what is that? that? The jumping headshot from Crims. And that is going to be Fnatic securing another round. But and FNX, he close here with the AK in hand. He's going to lose a teammate. He takes the one fight, goes for the follow-up. He's going to spray down another one. Scream still deep using. He can't get it. Luminosity going to win the round. Schneider is going to be a thorn. He's going to try and stop these rotations. He's going to be in such a difficult spot. Exist. That's a huge kill. There's only 10 seconds left. Can they stop the plant from going down? It's all in Exist now, gonna be throwing them in Sentry over towards the side. That forces this player out into the open. Exist the first one. He's gonna be getting the second! Exist launches it! 15 to 14, nipple go! What a time to step up! One Lucas now alone to try and make up for the wreckage that Apex has left behind here. 30 seconds, they are on either side of the bomb site. He's gonna have to get this far down quick, otherwise, if he leaves this down to you know 12 seconds, then they can just use the time against him. He will never get that bomb down. So it has to be now. 19 seconds, he goes for it and really actually keeping their distance. I mean, more than they should have. They should have been closer to actually force that away from him. Now he's up on top of the box, looking for the try to get one. Lucas over always sprays, almost getting it here. What an incredible clutch he's got. Going for triple and he sprays it down for the quad. Lucas managing to save the round. Tempo stall making it to 13 11. All of it's back, but now they can re peek out. Never mind, because Kenny's there, but traded in Kirby.
again is finding the kills. It's one versus one. He has no idea where Happy is. Spots him up now. He seems to bait this out, but he can't escape cleanly. He has forced Happy away. He changes his angle, but Kiri holds it down. This guy is playing out of his mind. One versus one situation. Kotvin going through a bit of a slow peak there. Lucky not to get taken down completely. So, spotted. Rubino coming in for support now. What will Crims do with this situation? Yeah, he's playing it quite smart. Trying to play the sure thing here, and it's definitely not too much of a sure thing, but there's the first headshot found. Crims going for the spray! Oh, he gets the spray through the wooden panels. He's head. They are low enough, but he gets the running gun on his snacks. How does that even happen? Looks for the last shot onto Neo. Neo still has 4 HP, and AZ's picked up the PG50. He's more than capable of doing this. They're both so very low, and he will come through with the clutch. Slank the person who was behind him, meaning that both players will be in front if he doesn't get an engagement by this point here. And Crim's already showed us his smarts. And there's the first player, quick shot, and there's one behind the door, and he has no health, and Crims gets it with the USP. That is absolutely ridiculous. Once again, Crims gets an incredible one versus two clutch, and out of action as AZ comes in. Tenski left with 33 points of health now with the M4 as well. First engagement spotted, what a beautiful shot, landed onto Rain. Another one is needed though, onto AZ, who's all oh, that's fantastic from Tenski. Somehow he's saves Dignitas' skin in this round himself from that position straight away. And now, that might just be the repositioning that can allow them to have a free bomb plant, which will make the difference potentially here. They both search for him, but he gets a free one coming in at the perfect timing. And now it's Config, who has his attention, but he's got 15 seconds to plant. There's not much time, and AZ, just, that is fantastic, isn't it? AZ, such good action. He needs to hit a headshot. He needs to find one kill, and he gets one at least, but gets overwhelmed. Good group play coming in here from Optic, pushing onto the site. Yeah, Carrigan, actually the only trust thing he could have made was to take that fight with Daps, but Really well played right now for the NA team. I've got to love that. And Cajun can sit our left for a retake. Two of us have no idea why they're fighting right now. Just get the bomb down and play it safe. But uh, they're not even planting the bomb right now. And it is a two on two. They have no bomb. Where is Wait, the what? bomb? It's not dropped anywhere. They don't have one on the map. Oh, no. Oh, what is this?